Hello, Bumpy Mix Squigums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I continue with my Let's Play of Dying Light. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, Dying Light. We have our Executioner's Short Sword, or Sacrificial Short Sword, as I suppose it's actually called. This is episode 32. That's three to the two. And there is stuff to be done. I am not going to do what they want me to do right now. It's unfortunate, but it is reality. So... Let's see what we can get ourselves into, shall we? Well, we can get, um... We can do that. We can get the grill him and kill him, which I don't hate. The guy under me... Hmm. Still seems to be something going on beneath my wings here. Let's see if I can't figure out what's up. Can we, like... There we go. Let's see, can we, like, get in here? Feel as though... Oh, it didn't take my crayons. My crayons. There we go for the school. Is that it? I think that might be that might be it. I mean, I just did this earlier. You guys, you guys were all witnesses. You saw me. I went around. And I picked up the crayons, and yeah, nothing happened. Apparently, it's a sad reality, but it is my reality. That's okay. Hi, creepy dude. What's going on, buddy? Kind of chilling in here, huh? All by your lonesome? Sitting there with one leg? Yeah. Not real super cool, huh? Alright. Well, I suppose I did whatever it was I was supposed to do. No, it's still telling me I need to get down there. Um, maybe there's another entrance or something? I don't... Ooh, there's something in here. Let's go inside and see. There is a lockpicking challenge. We'll see if we can actually meet this challenge or if we get crushed. And destroyed. I think I'm gonna probably end up breaking my pick here in a second. There it is. There's the pick breaking that we all know and love. Come on. Oh, oh. Well, burg, dog, burn it. It's fine. Gash, darn thingy. It's totally fine. Totally fine. All right, we get a military machete. I'll let, I'll take it. I like it, and we'll, well, I suppose, go with it. Um. Uh, do I have to enter the school? I mean, I'm not sure what we're looking for here. I feel as though I should already have all the things, but you know what I'm going to do instead. We're gonna open this back up. We'll go to quest. We'll get the crayons for the kids. No, I found these already. Oh, three out of five, so there's five in here somewhere. Okay. Well, at least that illuminates things a bit for me. That's right, caught myself on the way down. What? Alright, there's supposed to be five... Oh, is that... That's a book. Like, is that a crayon? It's not. Like, where else are they? Like, I found three out of the five, but I'm not seeing any others. can't move this out of the way. I don't... Hmm. I'm sure it's like painfully obvious to most of you guys, but for whatever reason, I'm just not seeing it. Just not seeing it. Player's stash. It's not going to be in there. Well, that's kind of a real problem, you know? Like, I don't... I don't know what to do at this point. I'm sorry, folks. Ah, uh, wait. Aha! There was one there. Why didn't that, like, show up? I have to walk around and look at all of the seats of every single chair. Is that what this is going to come to? Well, I suppose it could be anywhere at this point. Hmm. Well, that's four out of the five. The kid's not, like, hoarding the thing. He's, like, shoved it in his back pocket. He's like, I don't see no crowns here. Mm. Yeah. Nope. Still seeing nothing. A whole lot of nothing. Well. This is something, I suppose. 
Come on. I bet she's got them. I bet she's like hoarding them in like she's got them in her hands between her legs or something like stuffed between her knees. She's just sitting there. Yep, I don't know. I haven't seen any crayons. I don't know what you're talking about, man. Sorry. Man, this is like the most challenging thing ever. I will kick you in the face, man. I will I will pull the fire alarm or push the fire alarm button. Well, I gotta tell you, I'm getting a little nauseated looking around the room so intently and not finding what I'm looking for. It is a bit off-putting. Is it possible that it fell on the ground? Where are they? Look, the boxes are all dirty and dingy. Well, guys, I'm sure you've seen it, and you're probably screaming at me like, Bumpy! It's right there! And I'm just like, oh, I don't know where it is. Like, couldn't that... Why does it have to be a book? I think it's supposed to be a box of crowns, and it's not there. Alright, so there was one on that chair. You'd think there would be another one somewhere on one of these chairs. Gosh darn it, this bothers me. Aha! It's on the floor. Of course, I probably walked over it a hundred times. I've done it! I'm a hero! Let's go back to talking about what a hero I am. Oh gosh, that was so awful. I feel nauseated actually after doing that. It, like really, really bothered me. Like my brain hurts. Um, that one seems fine, right? Yeah, that one does seem fine. All right, let's go back here. Uh, what else? Coffee. Do we have enough coffee? Oh God, we need twenty. Find coffee for Toygar and bars and shops. We need twenty. How's that we have? We don't have 20 coffee, really? Like, I know we've picked up like a metric ton of coffee. Oh, I sold the... Ooh, that's that's not cool. I sold all my, uh, my goods. I had a bunch of coffee in that. Those are actually sellable things. Hmm, that's a bit disappointing. Well, it is what it is, I guess. Um, okay, that's fine. What about bandages and meds? Let's see how that goes. What do we need? We need three syringe, we need some painkillers and gauze. Well, we have we have uh, the painkillers. We don't have any syringes though. Or we had the gauze. We don't have any syringes and we only have one of the painkillers. Not great. Not super great. I'm not going to lie. We definitely have some work still that needs to be done, and unfortunately, these are just like scavenge quests. <laughs> There's a zombie in the trunk. It's pretty funny. Alright, um, I guess we can't do that one either. So, as much as it sucks, it is simply what it is. Let's head back to the tower if we're able. And if I had to guess, I would say indeed I am able. Alright, well we know the zombies are much more handsy now, and they are much more aggressive. So we'll have to be a little bit more cautious than we had been in the past while traversing the area. But that's okay. I think we'll manage. I think we will manage just fine. Alright. Hook my way a little bit closer. Whee! Good. Seems scary, but it wasn't that scary. Yeah, you're welcome. That's right, sacrificial short sword doing work. Hey, which Let's one of you guys are gonna be? Hey, ooh, you 115. Come, yeah, you would have. You, you should have given me a lot more than 115 bucks, man. I know there's not a lot to do with the cash right now on Haran, but I still feel like I could probably utilize the money a little bit better than you could. Well, that was a terrible positional play. There we go, that's a little bit better. Okay, so yeah, I didn't really choose well there. Oh! Completely decapitated her. You, on the ground. On the ground. Obey me. And goodbye. 
nice to be a melee monster nowadays. I used to be so weak, but now I'm a super powerful superhero. Ow, that hurt us. It should not hurt at this point in the game, but it does. Man, that phone was not used anywhere near as much. How are they making calls? Why does the phone keep getting more and more cash shoved into it? These are the burning questions that people want to know the answer to. It's true. It's true. Hell happened to that building? Me. I happened to that building, thank you. What's up, man? What you got for me? A billhook blade and a bunch of other various random stuff? I will take all of those things and we'll turn this into nice you. To drop in. Long time no see. I don't want to say stuff in chat. Avra has gas on the brain, but I guess you need it for his line of work. Takes all kinds to make a world. Even his kind, which is one of the worst kinds, if you ask me. He said I should give you this. Ooh. Yeah, baby. All right, we can turn in the Gauss and one painkiller. Um, the crayons we have to give to Kate, which I guess she's up the elevator. So we shall go and do that. Then I might go do some of the free ro roaming, free running stuff where we challenge other people. I think that'll be all right. We'll probably finish off maybe starting to do that other quest that we were just kind of given by the one-legged dude. That'll be all right. I think it'll be okay. All right, let's see here. We gotta go up, up, up and away, I guess. Well, we made it back to the tower, which is still standing, which is always a good thing to see. It's never super fun when your base of operations gets totally destroyed. I could have run so differently than I did. Sub Kate. What's going you on? Some crayons. Oh, fantastic. You're the best. I know. The kids are going to lose their minds. But in a good way. Here, take this. You'll make better use of it than I will. Well, I I bring you some crayons and you're like, "Hey, here's $1200. I saved some dude getting chewed on by a zombie and he gives me 115." Somehow I think this game is a little imbalanced on the quest rewards. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. You ready? You feel you feel good? You feel good, man? Yeah, you all stretched. You all you're all ready to go. You don't really look like a runner. A little bit of that beer gut going on there, the beer belly. Just saying. Just saying. Alright, well. I suppose we could head on down, or. Or instead of heading on down, which I am very tempted to do, I can go sell some more stuff first. Hello. I would like to. Ooh, there's a purple police rifle that does garbage damage. What is the deal? Industrial grade leech? What is that? Oh, bleeding to any weapon? Eh, whatever. A deadly felling axe. Like, seriously, wh why don't I get any of the purple items? I don't understand. Ooh, the tomahawk. It's pretty cool. We'll buy up all this stuff, I guess. Duct tape, plastic. We'll sell a bunch of garbage to him as well. Alright, let's take a look. Iron hatchets, 243, 242, 284, wow. 209, 211, 222. We can sell the bill hook. I know I can sell those and those. We'll sell all of. Um, maybe I can start using some of these lower end ones on the green weapons that I use. Because, you know, I'm pretty bad at that whole using things up like I should situation. Like, real, real bad at it. Alright, I'm going to get rid of the... Yes. And yes. Keep that, that, and that. I think I can get rid of my crowbar too. Yeah, that's pretty weak. It is pretty weak, and the hatchet's good. All right, so there we go. That is totally fine. Yeah, I know. I blew it up. You're welcome. You're welcome. We can probably drop the shield. Um, yeah, let's craft something out of that, shall we? We can do Ben Franklin's key. We can do the exorcist. Uh, the industrial grade leech. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, why not the standard issue Hellfire? I like that. Let's go with that one. Booyah Kacha! It is done. And then, you know what? We're going to actually modify at slash upgrade it right now. Because we can, and because we have stuff sitting around doing nothing. So we're going to increase the attack speed. 
And we're going to try it again because I apparently did not accept the upgrade there. There it is. Yeah. Can we upgrade it again? I don't think so. I think it's actually maxed out. Yeah, it's maxed out. And we can, what we can do is toss it up here and then upgrade this bad boy. He's got a single slot as well. The Juggernaut. Durability. Eh. Plus one. I mean, it's not really worth it, but we'll do it anyway. Why? Because we can. Because we can. There it is. Because we care. All right, we're ready. We're dropping shields all over the place. We're ready to get back out and do some stuff. I could talk to Vulcan, which I might still end up doing, but I think at first I'm going to go deal with Ryze's amazing runner, as he claims himself to be. We'll see, though. See, he was pretty nearby. I think I know where he's at by memory, which is scary, but we'll see. Let's see. Oh, also, take a look over there. There's a box up on that roof over there. Yeah. But we're going to get after it in a bit. Like it's telling me Vulcan is that way. Yeah, I know. But the other dude's right over here. And he's so, so much closer. Okay, What's up, dude? let's get this done. Alright, I accept your challenge. Oh, I can't use my grappling hook. Or, oh, I'm supposed to use my grappling hook. Okay, never mind then. Oh, uh, way over there, huh? Or die, wow. Didn't really expect that. Okay, I thought I'd land on the wall. I should have probably grappled it down. Wow, that was actually way more challenging. I, didn't, I wasn't expecting the grappling hook, and then it's like, use it. I'm like, hey, hey, hey. Maybe don't attack me while I'm talking to people, guys? Come on. I, I know you're zombies, but do you have to be rude zombies, too? I mean, isn't it bad enough that you're already undead? You have to be rude undead with no heads? I mean, come on. Look, see? I had to sever limbs and heads. There's a blood fountain going. I mean, it's not pleasant. Also, you guys have coffee on you, and I like that. I like that a lot. All right, let's try this again okay, without the this done. without the suck, shall we? All right. So, grappling hook challenge. Oh, my. Well, not exactly what I had in mind, but okay. Okay, I don't know what's going on right now, but it's it's not cool. I'm gonna have a real hard time if I can't land the easy grappling hook dealies. Ah, that's what I'm supposed to do. Well, that makes things a little bit different. Well, we know that we shouldn't jump off while zip lining across. That is a bad Juju Magumbo move. And it does appear that we are indeed able to use it without much cooldown, at least for now. I was speaking. Just wanted to remind you to not be playing heroes in the dark, huh? I want to play heroes in the dark. It's my favorite pastime. No. Uh. Bad hook. Bad hook. And then finally over that way. Well, maybe not my my best move. Oh, jeez, that was painful and so fine. All right, she almost got me, but I was successful. That was uh, I was a bit rough. That was definitely not my best move. Down and dusted. You happy now? You're lucky. That's all. Next time it won't be so easy. Uh huh. I will kick you. Come on, come on. Let's go. Get out of there. All right, you coward. Are we gonna do this next one in the dark? That doesn't seem like the smartest of ideas, but eh, maybe. All right, gonna hook on to the ground and pull myself along. I'm definitely going Spidey style. Only we don't have the high-rise buildings that Spider-Man had. I, I don't know. I feel like we would make a terrible Spider-Man. Ow! It's not off cooldown. Ah, uh, that's unfortunate. Well, it is what it is, right? Sounds like there's a splody guy behind me. One of those like dudes. All right, let's see if we can't challenge good old Voltaire or whatever his name is. Is that you, Vulcan? So, yeah. So, Crane, you still think of yourself as the best runner in the tower? No, best well, runner on Haran. Show me then, but you're gonna have to be faster than before. I can do that. 
As long as I don't have to grapple hook my way to victory, that's You're totally fine. You're in some fine. serious denial if you think you can beat me. I mean, look at your outfit alone. I mean, that that alone puts you at a disadvantage, buddy. Don't use grappling hook. Oh gosh! Oh, that's not good. I somehow missed my jump. Hey, hey! Stop it. Like, it shouldn't have happened, but I did. I unfortunately... Oh no, what are you doing now? I think I'm gonna lose it this time. Seriously? Come on, game. Work with me here. Yeah, my guy never jumped. I told him to, but he just refused to do it. That guy seems pretty upset with me on the back side of things. Well, looks like I get a runner zombie to go with me. Alright, I don't think I'm gonna make the 12 second run here. This is Ayo speaking. You know the drill. Get to the nearest safe house and oh, wait until dawn. Die. Good night. Good luck. Just oh, we failed. But keep trying, Crane. Maybe you'll yeah, be able to Yeah, something. yeah, yeah. Maybe if I don't miss my thing. Come on. We'll use a med kit. I think I might even skip the night, actually. Is it nighttime yet? I don't. It's not nighttime yet, is it? No. You're in some serious denial if you think you can beat me. All right. Let's get myself all situated and be ready. I think we got it. All right. I'm ready. I am eager. I am excited. It's going to happen. Hey! Random stargazing zombie. Oh gosh. That almost ended very, very poorly for me. Seriously, what is going on here? There we go. Alright, we're looking way better than we did before, so this is a very, very good start in comparison. 30 seconds left. I don't see this being an issue. I mean, still, I might fall. I might miss this jump. I mean, I did it last time, right? So, I mean, the, the potential for missing is still there. Oh, we landed it rather nicely. All right. That is pretty far away. I'm not going to lie. I don't know. 11 seconds. That is a long way off. Oh, they definitely stepped up their game. And I got pretty close, but not quite. Yeah, maybe. You must be right, dude. We'll wait until night, and then we're gonna wait until day, so... Meh. Kinda felt like it was already nighttime, but we'll, we'll give it a shot again, guys. You can watch me fail a little bit, it's fine. I don't mind, I don't mind. I do dumb things all the time, guys. Wait until night, wait until day. One hour later, it's day. Really? You're in some serious denial. Alright, buddy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, let's do it. Alright, this is a hard challenge. I mean, if nothing else, right? I mean, if nothing else, seriously, dude, come on, there we go, whoa, all right, that was so much cleaner this time, yeah, I think we might be able to make it, it'll be still, it'll still be pretty close, as long as I don't make any horrible, awful mistakes, oh, I tagged it, I wasn't sure if I did for a second there, I'm like, oh no, I missed it, so that was a little bit of a delay, a little bit of stutter steppage there, okay, we're making headway here, making inroads as it were. And I'll continue my climb here. Okay, looks like I've got it. Not by a lot this time, but we got it anyway. Yeah, baby. I'm a runner dead, and a fighter. By the skin of your teeth, if you ask me. You better get ready for next time, Crane. You're right. My 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 teeth skin does feel a bit abused. I apparently had to lean heavily on my my teeth skin it to make this work. Everything went down. What what is Am I supposed to talk to you? What this guy? No? What hmm. Well there seems to be somebody I should talk to over here. What what is the deal? Huh. Well, 
something's supposed to be going on there, and there's supposed to be somebody else I'm supposed to talk to somewhere. Oh, there's a door here. Maybe that's what it is. So, at last you are here. Ah, the witch. Okay, I forgot about you. Hi. I sent for you days ago. Are you always so slow? Yeah, Perhaps usually. Perhaps you are resistant to my summons. Good. The strong ones are more difficult, but always so much more worthwhile. You must be the witch. Such prideful contempt. But of course you do not believe in such things. Look, I'm here because I've been told that you... that you have an ability. You want to know how I walk among the Immortui without drawing their attack. Is that not so? Huh? Is it possible? For you? No. You are far too crude and ignorant to obtain such deep knowledge. But there is another way. Something I could make for you. It's fine, I'd be willing to trade. You are only here because I wish it. And it is my wish that you have this ability. You will need it to be of service to me. Tonight, you will go to the caves while the volatiles are out hunting. Collect as many black mushrooms as you can carry. And I will use them to prepare a tincture for you. That is all I require from you. For now. Well, that seems super dangerous. Okay. Well, there is that, folks. There is that. Alright. Well, let's figure out what we can do. At least get ourselves on track for the next episode. And then... We'll probably break off this one. Steal from a thief. I found something at the construction site can be used to attack the tower. Well, let's, uh, let's do that one. Alright, so we're going to head over and deal with this. And once this is handled... Well... We'll figure out maybe another storyline mission. I'm gonna drop kick the giant fireman zombie. I don't know if that's a good idea. Oh god! No, it was not a good idea. It was not a good idea to continually kick him either. Maybe the first initial drop kick, not so bad. All subsequent attacks, horrible. What's going on over here? Hey dude. Probably don't want to do that. Also, I'm gonna randomly open this box. I'm looking for an escort. And what do you need? I don't want to say it out loud. If you'll help me get there, I'll make sure it's worth your while. We would have to make a couple stops. Nothing too complicated. Okay? Is that the yes? Okay, I guess we can help the survivor in the next episode, folks. So, that's what we'll do. Either way, folks, that's going to do for this one. I want to thank you for joining me, and I'll catch you guys next time with more Dying Light. Until then, my name's Bumpy McSquiggums, and I will see you later.